Hello, good evening. My name is uh, my name is Daru, and today I am here to teach something that I have recently learned while how to do within Delphi. So if I come in, search for video player, as you can see, there is nothing here. I come in and I say T Media Player. This kind of does what you'd hope it to do, but not really. So the T Media Player can play audio, but it cannot play video. And that is what I'm here to teach you viewers how to do today. So we start here, the blank form. Of course, yours may not be blank, yours may have anything. So we start here and we hit tools. No component. No, we go to component, then we say import component. We say import active X control. Then we hit next. Then we'll be given a list right here. It's a bit bigger, so things are more visible. What we're looking for within this list is this item right here, which is Windows Media Player. And we hit next. Then normally what I would say in terms of um, the location of the file is that we should put our file in the same place where our video is. So if I come here, let's get the path to our project. So we should I would recommend that you made this your unit folder. So that'll just put your unit in this folder. Because yeah, when your unit is in another folder, it will become difficult to load it if you put it on if you move your project to another device. So make sure that your unit folder is the folder wherever your project is stored, then you select your folder. Hit next, then we say install to new package. Hit next, and then say I call this package video player. No, I'm like PKG video player. So this is the name of our video player package. Just call it video player then we hit finish then we'll get this prompt here unit um wmp lib underscore tlb references the vcl framework so this will just enable the vcl framework for this package so we hit yes then we save our project group Let's call it video project. Wait a bit. There we go. Our package has been installed. Now, what I recommend you do next is that you come over here so you can see this is our package. Then you hit save as. Now, the reason why we do this is because when your purge, when your ah, sorry, when your package is generated, it will be put in this directory, which is not the directory of your project. So, say so save as, and then you go to the directory where your project is, and then that is where you place your package. Hit save, and there you go. Now, if we come over here. Come under ActiveX, or we just search. You can see there is T Windows Media Player, and this is where we can play our videos. So, if you want to play a video via just the interface, let's give it a nice name MP Video Player. Let's align this. Then 
that stretch it to fit so actually no don't do that it's gonna make our video look weird then we come here we should be able to come here and this is where you will put the link of your video but of course we want to be able to add it manually like this so you double click on your item then you add a source so we hit browse here go back to our project location and this is my video of choice so we hit open apply okay let me just do this otherwise the audio is gonna overshadow the video okay so here we are then if we run oh okay this is another thing to look out for that when you're running your program make sure that when you select this when you say select this drop down you're running the project not the package what happens when you run the package is that it will run this but this is not a an app it's just a package so when you're running you make sure you're running your project and not your package so now i'm running my project wait a bit and there we go our video is now playing and this is how we would get our videos to play in Delphi. Now, um, now, um, beautiful little song here. Let me confirm something. Yeah, okay. Um, we should have audio as well, but doesn't seem to be audio for some reason. But um, that is how your video should normally play. Yeah, but normally when you select any any video, it will play along with audio. But let's say you want to program this, so you want to do this in code. What we do is that we want this video to play whenever we show our form. You can also assign this to some button event. So it's even better. Just create a little panel. Put it at the bottom of our form. Create a little button. Put this panel on. Um, nothing. Put this button. Let it play. Play the video. Now what we do here is that we call our video player, so mp video player dot URL is equal to and then the path of our video. So my video should be seal.mp4. So this can be the name of your video file. One thing to also be mindful of is that when you run your program, it may search for your video in this folder instead of in this folder over here. So you may have to copy your video into this folder. Then we say mp video player dot controls dot play. Now, our video should not play automatically. Let me just ensure that our video is not going to play automatically. Okay. Now we run and our video is not playing. Hit play video. And then it will start to play our video. Now, say we also wanted to stop the video. Another button over here, call this button btn stop, stop, 
then you just say mp video player dot controls dot stuff hit save then run we hit play video and there we go our video is now played we can seek through our video then we can stop it then obviously we can play it again stop play stop play and there we go that is how you get videos working in Delphi but um, say you want to load other videos you can always have like a button that says play video 1 or play video 2 where you just change the URL so you have like a seal one seal two or like a you know um seal dot mp4 monkey dot mp4 and then they just play separately depending on which button you pick up so that would be how you can get videos to play in Delphi. So um I'll I will also add a link to a little article which it generally explains how to do this. Just wanted to make this as a video explanation for anyone who might find this useful if they do want to play videos in Delphi when using VCL applications. Okay, I'm um, sorry. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day from here. If you like it, I would always love a, a subscribe a like and some feedback on what I can improve in the way that I make my videos but other than that thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video